I love The Walking Dead. I love Negan. And I love Call of Duty Zombies. I never thought I'd be able to say all three of those things can be combined into one awesome experience. This map you're about to watch is completely insane. It's called The Sanctuary. It's by It's Broads. Link will be in the description. In the video, I go through and complete the entire Easter egg. I showcase power, pack a punch, all those tutorials and kind of things. So if you enjoy, please consider supporting by hitting that like button. And yeah, let's get into this video. Oh my God, this looks amazing. I'm so excited to play this map. For years and years, I have wanted to play as or play with Negan in Call of Duty Zombies. And finally, it is actually a reality. So we're in the Sanctuary. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the show, The Walking Dead, the Sanctuary is Negan's base throughout season seven and eight of The Walking Dead. Also, we're playing as the World War II Zombies characters, which is kind of cool. We've got transit looking zombies. Pack a punch right here with some valves blocking it. So I believe in order to fix that, we have to collect some fuses of some kind. I watched Conjura play this early. So I do actually know a little bit about the map. Oh my god, just I am so so excited to be playing this. The map creator will be linked in the description as well as the mod for you to download yourself. I've also made other videos on maps by the same creator. So if you want to go check those out, be sure to like and subscribe because I'll definitely be playing more as they release. We've got a max ammo. Perfect. Right as I run out of ammo. We've got modern warfare remastered guns, which is you know it's kind of nice. So let's open up our first door. God, just aesthetically, this map is just like a one for one. This is perfect. This is exactly what the sanctuary does actually look like. I mean, obviously, you've got like Holly's cream cakes from Shadows of Evil, little tidbits from the main game. Stamina up over here, which is nice. I believe these are Cold War perks as well. So I don't know if it's going to be Cold War stamina up. That would be quite broken. We've got three numbers here that we have to get. We've got a war gun over here. I guess we'll have to buy this because it's not really got anything else. The EBR. Oh my God. Ah, okay, let's not go down. I was thinking it would be like a one hit and then knife situation, but no, it's two then knife. All right, so can we open this door? We can, okay. I believe as well it's for transit shield on this map, so there's only two parts for it. It'll definitely take some getting used to learning the part locations and stuff, but oh, we got a, got a zombie around the corner here. I believe we need a zombie blood and to go over to this zombie, and then we'll see like a fuse we have to pick up. I have a feeling that's one of the steps. We can come right up here, which is like... This is pretty much where Negan stands and does his little speech, which is awesome. Saviors save us on the wall right here. Wow, you can go all the way up here as well. Oh, we've got PhD flopper right here. Nice. Or I guess PhD slider because it is the Cold War version. Well, let's open this door. What's past here? We've got like some kind of thing. We've got a break here, it looks like. Power is this way. Deadshot here. If this is a Cold War deadshot, then it's going to be pretty good. Got some kind of barrier here. Wait, what? This seems like way lower than it should do. Can we like get over here? Oh, you can- <gasps> Hello. Okay, we got utility key required. Ah, this is part of the Easter egg. So we'll just go ahead, open up. I think power is in this location. We got mule kick. Another one of these zombies that I think we need a zombie blood for. I'm guessing power is past this door. Ah, never mind. I'm stupid. Here we go. Power's right here. Okay, I'm blind. This is another one of the Easter egg steps. So this is candle. Basically, the color of the candle corresponds to the number. So this would be yellow nine, I think. And there's two more candles around the map. And then you put it in right at the spawn where those three numbers are. Place weapon on trading table. Oh, yeah, they added like the trading table, which is pretty neat. So if you're playing co-op, you can just give your weapon to someone else. Very handy. Andy. Jug is right there. Okay, we want to work towards Jug most likely. It's going to actually be a while before we can get Jug because we've got to buy this door as well. I am so excited to see Negan, but like at the same time, I'm terrified because we really do not have a strong enough weapon or anything yet. All right, we've got double points. If we wait until next round, we should be able to get enough. I'm going to buy this AK because we need a solid weapon. Oh my God, he's here. Hi, Negan. What's up, man? We're just spawning in on round five, huh? Oh my god, he's here. I have to just get a screenshot real quick. Oh, oh my god, I almost shot him. Okay, he's like George Romero mixed with Brutus, kind of, because he doesn't actually aggro until you shoot him. But he has like the savior whistle, which is awesome. Oh my god, can we not go down? Yeah, we just want to like not go near him. It actually plays the World War II zombies music, the menu music, in reverse when he's like running around, which is kind of cool. God, I'm terrified. He's just, he's so like menacing. Look at him over there, just slowly walking towards me. All right, we can afford Jug. I'm gonna go and buy it because there's no way in hell we'll be able to kill him without it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my God, he even has 
quotes. That's so cool. Oh, is that double tap over here? Oh, it is. That's huge. I mean, double tap might be better to get, but he'll probably just one shot us if we don't have Jug. So, oh yeah. And we've got another zombie blood zombie over here we need. All right. Where's Negan at? What's up, dude? You want to fight? You want to go, huh? I'm ready. Oh, we've got zombie blood. Oh, okay. We can, we can start doing this. So there's one like over here, right? Yeah. You? No. Okay. One over here. No. It's some kind of step for an Easter egg. I don't know exactly what. Oh, well, let's just let's just attack him. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do, huh? Oh, my God. <gasps> Dude, the way he sprints. That's terrifying. We just, like, get, get rid of him. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, why does he run like this? Oh, my God. That's terrifying. I only have an M14. God, please, just get rid of him. He's running like transit zombies. Oh, my God. Bro, I've got no ammo. Okay, I need to buy AK ammo. Oh my god. Please get rid of him. You know, I love Negan to bits, but like... Where did he go? What? Oh my god, there he is! What the hell? What did he just do? He just like disappeared for a second. You are a bullet sponge, man. Holy crap, he's still not dead. Bro, I mean, Negan has to be a badass. Okay, there we go. And then you get Lucille. You just get it. Oh, you, you just get to pick it up. That's just awesome. Bash. Bash. Oh my god, that's sick. Oh yeah, can we bash this with Lucille? Oh, you can! Ah, and then we get a gold ingot. Pretty neat, I guess. Cool. I'm gonna save up for double tap, because next time Negan comes... Dude, that was terrifying, actually. We got... Oh, we can bite double tap through this wall? That's kind of interesting. Holy crap, dude. He was... He was strong. All right, we have enough for double tap now. Let's just buy that. Yeah, there we go. Cold War perks. Got the little cans, which is cool. Feels so much safer now. Bro, he hello? Like, did, <laughs> somehow that zombie just did not take any of those shots. Oh, out of ammo again. Well, I guess we'll just be rebuying ammo. Oh, max ammo. <laughs> okay, dude, come on. Typical. It's fine. It wouldn't be a zombies map if it didn't do that to me, you know? Okay, so we know for certain that the yellow number is nine. So let's go ahead and put that in real quick. We've also got like dogs, which is good. Okay, yellow nine. Now we have to find the two other numbers. Trouble is, I don't know where these other things are gonna be. We've got electric cherry over there. Oh, one of the shield parts, let's go. I'm assuming one of the numbers will be like past here, maybe. Oh my God, it's playing like audio. I can barely hear it because my sound's so low. But it's playing audio on these speakers of like Negan's propaganda from the show, which is so cool. Oh, we got another double points, huge. All right, this should give us plenty of points to be able to prepare, open the rest of the map. Oh, there's one of the numbers. Okay, so is that a six or a nine? I think it's a six. So red is six. If we go ahead, punch that into here, red six. Then we have to find the blue number. Oh my God, Negan spawning. Oh, hello, hello zombie. <laughs> the savior whistle, that's terrifying. Okay, we'll leave him until last, as long as we don't shoot him, because this is going to be too risky otherwise. I won't lie, ambience-wise, this map creator did an amazing job. Okay, we've got insta-kill. Let's go ahead and shoot him. He's gonna be mad, he's mad, he's mad because bad. Bro, just look at the way he runs. Come on, stand still, there we go. Make it easy for me to kill you. Okay, there we go, Jesus. All right, now we get Lucille. Bonk! Oh, I missed. Bonk! Bonk, double points as well. Oh, this is so cool. I kind of wish that Lucille was like AOE so we could hit multiple people at once. We're definitely not complaining. We have 9,000 points. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's go and open up the rest of the map. So door here, electric cherry. There's no perk limit, which is really nice. Uh, this takes us to, oh, the power room. I'm an idiot. We've already gone here. That's fine. There's going to be a way to get inside the map. Ah, here we go. There's a door over here. I knew I was missing something. Right, so we go in here. What's this? Death perception. All right. So it is literally all the Cold War perks. We have one shield part we need to get from somewhere. God, this is reminding me of the prison with all the corridors and stuff. Oh, we've got like a, a tiny little room here. Oh my God. Is this like where Daryl got tortured, I think? A buildable bench? Okay, that's where we build the shield then. So there's a location somewhere. Ah, here we go. So blue four. Oh my god, almost going down. Nice. Blue four is the candle. So if we put this in, we should just unlock pack a bunch. Three, four. Hey, there we go. Code accepted. So now, do we just get the pap? No? Okay, we might need to do something else. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Ah, it opens up this. We have to pick up that wrench. And with that wrench, I assume we have to turn something. What's it like? This? Oh, here we go. Interact. Working. Um, did, did that work? Do we have to do that three times because there's three different valve things? Yeah, it looks like it. So we turned one of them off. Oh my god, you can jump up that. That's cool. Oh, I'm stupid. It was right next to Jug. Okay, so here's the second one. 
Do we have to stand next to it? No, I think it's just done now. And there should be one more that we have to turn. Now, I haven't found speed cola yet, so if I was to assume, it would probably be there. Like, what's this door? Ah, this goes into the building as well. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Insert fuse, crane fuse. Oh, I need a crane fuse. Put the box here. Ah, here we go. Interact. And speed code is right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Come back once all eight bears have been shot. Oh yeah, that's something to do with the wonder weapon easter egg, which is really cool. Here we go. Pack-a-punch is now unlocked. Let's go. AK-74U or 74-4U2, I guess it's called. Got a really, really nice pack-a-punch camo. I was going to use Lucille for the uh, thumbnail, but... Oh, we got a part right here. Ah, the second shield part. It was right in spawn. Wow, okay. Oh my god. Oh, let's not go down. Ah! Red screen. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. We're fine. Let's relax. So there are various teddy bears that we have to shoot around the map. I believe they're outside of like barriers that we have to find. For some of them anyway, but not for all of them. So is there one like... Ah, uh, here we go. You see that one there? Boom. So we shot that one. There's seven more. And this will give us Daryl's crossbow once we complete it, which is just sick. And then there's like elemental upgrades for it. I think there's just the one, but it ends up turning into like the fire bow from Der Eisendrach, which is just awesome. I won't lie, this gun isn't doing that much damage. I mean, yeah, we've got insta-kill now, but like maybe we need to hit the box and try and get something else. Although I guess if we're working towards Daryl's crossbow, we don't really need to. So let's go ahead. Let's buy speed cola real quick. Boom, let's get that. I think there's a teddy bear. Is there one like... Where would it be? Like, in the distance somewhere? I know one of the parts, we need electric cherry, because we have to, like, reload right next to this. There's gotta be a teddy bear around here somewhere. Ah, I see you up in the corner there, trying to be cheeky. Oh yeah, and we can build the shield as well. Uh, the buildable's right there. Go do this real quick. Shield acquired. Go buy this electric cherry. We should be able to get that next fuse. I don't know which fuse it is, probably the crane fuse or something. Also, there's definitely a teddy bear around here. Ah, I see you. And then there should be, like, another one in this location, probably. Cheeky little hiding spot, maybe. Ah, I see you. Back there. Boom, got him. Oh, I gotta kill the zombie. He got me stuck. Okay, we've got four now. There's probably gonna be one in here, I would imagine. But where? Probably gonna be a teddy bear in this room as well. Ah, here we go. There's one. There's 100% gonna be one in here. I just don't know where. Oh, crap. Is Negan spawning? I keep hearing whistles. Oh, there he is. So ominous. A zombie blood. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's try and kill him. We have double tap. We can do it. I don't know why the zombies are going for me when I have zombie blood, but hey, who knows? My god, so much. There we go. We got Lucille. <laughs> It took long enough. Bash, bash, bash some brains. So over here, if we reload with electric cherry, boom, it turns on this little trap thing. And this will drop us the crane fuse. Now we use this on, isn't it this thing here? Yeah, crane fuse. Now I assume this will be a soul box or something. It's cool they have the World War II zombies like battery looking thing. But before we do that, let's find the rest of these teddy bears. Where could a teddy bear be? Oh, speaking of which, hello. <laughs> Okay, that's another one. That's six then. Ah, see, I, kn I knew you'd be in here, man. All right, that's seven. Now, the only other place that I have a feeling could be one is right here. But where? Oh my God, I see it. Is that it right in the distance? That was difficult to find. Okay. <laughs> right, so now I think we have all of them. So do we get the crossbow, maybe? Oh, <gasps> the door's open. Oh my god, take back Daryl's crossbow. Hell yes, we got like a little sandwich in here. The one, I think it's like a poop sandwich that he ate. That is just so cool, man. I assume we can pack a punch it. Oh my god, we can. Let's go. Daryl's eruptive crossbow. <gasps> Dude, okay, I have, I have to make this the thumbnail. I have to. Like, look. Look at this weapon, man. This just looks so cool. That's just, that's awesome. So apparently the ammo count is actually bugged. It's supposed to say an ammo like total on the right hand side, but the map creator said that it's plentiful. So yeah, other than the zombie blood thing that we need, I think we just have to get kills next to this. So let's kill you. Yep, it's a soul box. Okay. I was going to say we should spin for the box, but <laughs> is there really a need now? I guess we could spin and see what's in there. Oh, we got like, whoa, what are these futuristic weapons? 720. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, we even got the, uh, the Rock melee as well with when you have the bows out. Now, I want to use this weapon. This is like a decent training spot. So, what happens when I shoot into you? Oh my god, it really is like the fire bow. That's so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> That's <was> close. <laughs> Thank god we have a shield, huh? We got a zombie blood. All right, nice. Let's go and check inside here because I have a feeling it's probably going to be the... One door that's open. Uh, any fuse? No fuse. Damn, I'm not sure where it could be. 
This is the next part that we actually need is we have to get the blood fuse from using zombie blood and going over to those bodies. Let's kill a bunch of you by here. Hopefully this will be enough. Is that enough souls? Please tell me. I mean, surely. No? Okay, we might need like 20 kills then. Oh yeah, we can see it filling up in the back. Wow, that's actually a lot of kills. But I guess if the next step we need is zombie blood anyway, we might as well just keep going. We have a shield right here, worst case. So if Negan comes, we are running for the hills. I just need to know where the other locations are. The plan might be to train in here actually and then wait for all the zombies to get together and then we go kill them by the fuse oh you can aim with this i didn't even realize train them all up get them together now is this enough kills holy crap that was a lot yep i think that was it okay so we can actually do one of the steps now so we have the upgraded crossbow there should be a furnace right here yeah here we go we just shoot that in here place a gold ingot and now we wait three rounds for that to smelt i believe and that's the ingot that we got from using lucille to open up this door right here so i think we're like almost done so yeah, we're just going to progress through the rounds then and obviously hope that we get a zombie blood to get that one fuse as well Oh, dude, that's just so sick. Charge shot. Oh, we got zombie blood. Okay, so I have a feeling it's going to be back by spawn. Uh, oh, God, we're going to get all the way there. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Okay, so there's one location right over here. You have the fuse. You don't. Okay. Oh, God, the zombie blood's already running out. There's one over in the back corner. Ah, am I blind? Damn, he was right here. I didn't get to see. Okay, so we have to, like, we need another zombie blood then. Round done. I mean, it's fine. We'll narrow down the locations bit by bit. Hopefully this zombie has it, because I don't know where else it could be. The round after these dogs. Oh, my God. Hi, Negan. Hey, what's up? I'm going to shoot you. How does it feel? Oh, God. Stop running at me like that, dude. Wait, the crossbow actually just puts him in his place. You can't do anything, buddy. Oh, no, never mind. He's getting out now. Is this actually doing any damage to him? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's doing any damage to him. Not gonna lie. Ow! Oh. Okay, he doesn't one-shot you. The more you know. He's gotta be weak, though, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. You pack a punch, Lucille. No, you can't. That's sad. Blast furnace on our gun now. Nice. So, yeah, one more round and I think this thing will be finished. Oh, never mind. We can collect it now. Okay, utility room key. So, we have to go to that one room. It's past the barrier. It doesn't look like a barrier. And then we should be able to go in that room and collect the furnace fuse. We just need another zombie blood to be able to can get this blood fuse, man. I won't lie, the zombies feel pretty strong in this. Like, I know it's Black Ops 3, so the hit detection's pretty solid anyway. But they are, like, swiping quite well. Ow. Oh, and there goes my shield. Oh my god, the range on this crossbow, though, is pretty long. Got a nuke. I mean, that's not really ideal. Oh, don't get me stuck now. Come on. Ooh. Max ammo. Well, that's the round. Let's go pick up a shield because it broke. Let's get death perception. I see zombies through walls. You know, it's sort of useful, but not really. <gasps> zombie blood, zombie blood. Nope. I'm blind. I'm stupid. What? I swear it looked like he dropped one. Well, my bad. I'm I'm tripping out. Hallucinating for a zombie blood, apparently. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. With death perception, it like shows you the location of the zombies on your map. I don't like that, actually. <laughs> that's kind of like... A little bit obstructive. I mean, it's not too bad, but... Eh. All right, kill all you. Not a single one dropped a zombie blood. I love how the zombies, just like the bodies, all show up, even though they're actually gone. Okay, man. Death perception, you're being weird right now. Training in the spawn is definitely a little risky, but this bow is pretty broken, so... I mean, I'm glad it is. Oh, zombie blood. Okay, please. Do you have the fuse? You don't! Okay, so we can check the main factory. There's a spot in there. Well, if we can even get there in time. Right in the very back. Is it you? No, it's not you. Okay, so there's one more location. Ah, don't run out just yet. Is it right here? Oh, it is! Give me the fuse. Oh my god, dude. I knew it had to be somewhere. Just crazy it took that long. Got all these zombies over here. Bye-bye. Oh, I just ended the entire round. Okay. So now we have the blood fuse and the utility key. So the soul can we have to fill up. It should be like in the spawn somewhere. Ah, here we go. It's right in this corner here. Okay, so we just have to get a bunch of kills. Do dogs count is the question. Oh, hi, Negan. You're just going to spawn in like that? Wait, shooting the crossbow at him must do no damage because he's not even sprinting towards me. <laughs> well, I guess now you know. I have shot so many arrows into him. Oh, yeah, dogs do count. Oh, he actually killed him. Okay, cool. So at least we know it works. Uh, we've got one dog. Let's actually go and do this real quick. So, it's in this area here, right? Yeah, this wall over here. We jump over, we go into the utility room, and there should be something we have to pick up. 
Yeah, here we go. Collect furnace fuse. That's the third and final one we have to fill up. Logically, it's going to be somewhere near the furnace, you'd assume, you know? Hey, I can hear Negan talking. What's up? Ah, yes, here we go. The furnace fuse is right in the end of the main factory area. Cool, cool. Well, let's fill this one up first then, I guess. Might as well. Let's fire a shot. How many souls is this going to be? Did like a quarter of it. Nice. It's pretty cool. This Easter egg isn't like too, too difficult. I only looked up like a third of these steps. A lot of them, I just sort of like found the bodies and the parts like lying around. So yeah, it's definitely accessible to newer players, which is nice. I'd highly recommend giving this map a try. Okay, that looks like almost done if not completely done. Let's just make sure. Yep, that is done. Last one we have to fill up. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on things. What is that stuff? And things are blocking me. Yeah, the very last one's right here. Boom. Right, that's like <laughs> basically half full. We've got another zombie blood. Right when we don't need it, typical. Yeah, if I had to rate this map right now, I'd say like an, a solid 8 out of 10. I mean, aesthetically, it's awesome. The fact Negan's in it alone. Now, this is a dead one for one of the sanctuary. Okay, this should fill it up completely. There we go. That's done. Okay, now what happens? We filled up all three things. Oh, initiate the lockdown process. <gasps> oh, okay. This sounds like it's going to be risky. Well, we've got a crossbow, so we can't run out of this area. All right. I see what you're doing, game. We're fine. We've got an insta kill for now as well. So, yeah, let's train them up. If we can. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Dude, no. Don't tell me I die on the last step. They just, like... Ah, oh, there's, like, a spot right here that gets you stuck for some reason when you're training around. Oh, that's so annoying. Bye, quick revive. Jesus. Oh, okay, we're fine. Honestly, let's just sit in a corner and keep shooting. Maybe that's the play. Don't know how long this lockdown process is. But now we have no jug, so we're just making it more difficult. I mean... This crossbow is pretty broken, so I guess it balances out, right? Double points. Oh, max ammo. Thank you. Honestly, a perk drop would be really nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's just endlessly spawning zombies, which I suppose it does make sense. Is this a lockdown after all? Okay, we're fine. Ow. Okay, we've got a shield still at least. Oh my god. Zombies just do not like me right now. I don't know exactly how much ammo we have, so I'm going to be like slightly wary, but... The map creator just said there's plenty of ammo. So let's hope. Oh my god. Okay, we did it. <gasps> we got a perkaholic. Okay, okay. Boom. And then that should be it. I think there's like a Bible ending. Yeah, escape for 25,000. So it didn't even matter that we lost Juggernog. Yeah, this map is really, really cool. Thank you so much, Broads, for making it, obviously. Like I said earlier, the link to their Twitter and the link to the map itself will be down in the description. I can't really praise it enough. I mean, the fact that Negan's in it, the fact they're continuously making more Walking Dead maps. They're just endlessly proving to be one of the best and most underrated map creators out there right now. Boom, one shot. That should be the entire round done. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I make weekly zombies videos. Comment if you've got any map suggestions or anything you want me to play. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Also, I did buy the Bible ending, but I ended my recording without showing it. So yeah, anyway, thank you for watching.